is good. My anime free for what is good. It feels so crazy to see this character absolutely making a name for himself every step of the way until this moment where <coughs> I have told y'all what is it that true villains will do? They will take a moment's opportunity and make sure you pay for it. That is truly is what we saw in this week's episode not only did they take their chances they absolutely destroy with their plan of keeping Dai in this fire realm hole uh, summoned up by this evil person not to mention the fact that even if they wanted to escape they would have to do so much ridiculous power on the level of a sage to get them, you know, even higher than a sage, I guess you should say, because even he can't get them out just right now. So it's one of those things where now we're in a position where we're truly seeing what the villains are capable of, and what they're capable of is absolutely terrifying, <laughs> bro. They've been practically playing around with their food. And to see this ultimate trap being laid, it really makes you think of what they could have done a long time ago if they truly wanted to go a certain route, right? So I am curious to see what people are thinking about all of this because at the end of the day, not only did we see Pope just actually save the main character's life, uh, and pay him back for all the time his life has been saved but we're probably going to see more characters continuing to push forward and break their limits um, via through whatever the case is coming up uh, next time for you know mom to be punching and going crazy all the way to our main villain who used to be the main villain going to probably show up and actually be a good reason why we have a chance to win so with that being said though i hope y'all are having an amazing one this was an abuse this was a beautiful looking episode this week you're definitely missing out if you're not watching this show because overall the old animes have finally gotten reason to shine and they're shining in some bright, bright ways to the point where a lot of these moments are just kind of copied from these types of animes and pushed much further into the future of them using and recalling times like this. This was pretty much the father-son sword mixed in with the, with the master, right? This was the father-son uh, blade attack compared to the father-son Kamehameha, you know, so it's almost like where would they have got an idea like that when this show was out, Goku was just a kid, like he had no plans of having a kid of himself, let alone teaching him how to fight to use the Kamehameha and defeat an ultimate villain, and mind you, both of the parents were dead in a way both spiritually showing up and helping their children. So, yeah, there's a whole lot of things you can reference from this anime and just what it's done. And you got to remember, it came out in a time when animation was still pretty good, but as of now, it's looking so ridiculously clean. I hope you're all having a good one. I will definitely be talking to you sooner than later. Have an awesome rest of your Friday, and I will be talking to you Saturday about a couple of shows because your boy is off work and I got some videos for y'all. <laughs> Let's get it. Talk to you in the next one.